Hello everyone and welcome to This is Africa and here's Lesotho. Now let's go, shall we? Lesotho is perched up in the cool, bracing highlands of southern Africa and was first inhabited by the San people who hunted for their food under the ever-watching eyes of the mountains. For thousands of years they wandered across the plains until other wanderers arrived around the 16th century. Bantu speakers whose ancestors originated up north. The tribe who would dominate the region we're concerned with were called the Sotho and of course the country is named after them. They built villages and farmed and the years flowed by like the summer rains, and suddenly it was the 19th century. In the midst of a time of war and chaos, the Sotho people were forged into a nation by King Moshushu I. Not to be confused with King Mobutbut, he was a good king, a fine leader, who kept his people together through the turbulent era of conflict. The biggest challenge to his rule, and even his nation's survival, was the wars with the European Boers, who began snatching up his territory. After 30 years of fighting, Moshushu decided the best chance he had to keep his kingdom intact would be asking for the help of the British Empire, which Lesotho joined in 1868. Mushushu reigned until his death in 1870, after which time the British began amping up their control, demanding that the Basotho people surrender their guns. This led to a war that the Basotho fought so effectively that the British dropped their demands and the people kept their weapons. Lesotho became an important producer of grain, but many of its citizens depended on working in South Africa for their subsistence. More fled to that country after the joint misfortunes of the Great Depression and a time of drought. But the country was not swallowed into South Africa, which encompasses it, and gained independence in 1966. The second Prime Minister, Liaboa Jonathan, became concerned during the 1970 election when it looked like the rival party would win. So he cancelled the elections, arrested the opposition, and stayed in power. Some societal infrastructural improvements followed, but the country still struggled. In 1986, a military coup ousted the Prime Minister, and troubled times followed, and it wasn't until 2002 that there was an actual peaceful election. Lesotho today with its low level of human development has a number of hurdles to cross and we hope they're crossed soon and wish Lesotho all the best for the future. But till next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye!